Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. FOMC is out of the way. I do have to say, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me what's going on here. We had a hawkish, in my mind, a hawkish FOMC. Even though they only did uh, three plots. But he was very upbeat and looked more hawkish than not. And yet the dollar got hit. Let's go over Euro dollar. Went down to 50. So we were up, went up to 18, down to 50. And then we finally made a new high up in this uh, 70 area. Now we're trading 123.50. If you look at the dailies, very tough technical pattern here. Broke the downside of the wedge, and now, depending on where you draw that line, has broken the upside, or is about to break the upside. Um, don't really know what to do with this. Uh, I guess you don't really want to fight it. So I wouldn't be fading uh, Euro dollar, but I'm just because I'm very confused and I don't really understand, um, and I do feel like the market is more long than short. I'm not going to be a buyer of of euros up through here. If I am going to sell dollars, I'll be looking at dollar yen, which printed uh, 60 again last night, 57 or 58 last night. I do think this is going to be negative for risk, this attitude by the FOMC. You combine this with trade talk from Trump and the fact that 105 needs to be cleared. Uh, and we still believe this is going to happen this week. We like selling dollar yen, but we are going to sell low ones. We want it to make a new low, and we want the story to be clear or strong or news. So right now we're square, but we are looking downside dollar yen. MPC today. Cable printed 141.70 overnight. Technically, there's not much to do with this. Obviously, a very bullish day yesterday. Uh, we're just going to have to see... 9-0 is expectation, and they're not expecting a hike today, but could be hawkish, uh, but might not be hawkish, might, might be cautious, Carney's, you know, of the, of the Goldman breed, who, you know, he looks at the global macro picture, and he might be a little bit disturbed about Brexit, possibilities of Brexit, even though the numbers yesterday were pretty strong in the UK, real estate prices are going down in London, and then there's Brexit, just as on the negative side of the ledger. The positive side is employment growth and, and positive financial numbers. We'll just have to see what they say and how they vote and react accordingly. Very strong support, a very interesting level in Euro sterling, which is now 30 points away, 86.87, a lot of red days in Euro sterling, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 straight red days, the Euro sterling has done this before and tends to do this, it just gets trendy, um, but because of these 10 days, tough to break trade this. It's going to be choppy if it gets down there. Ideally, you get a print and then we uh, break tomorrow. But this is a level to watch. Same type of level in Sterling Swiss. 135 the figure. Again, all of these green days in Sterling Swiss are going to make it hard to have the momentum needed to, to break trade this. Uh, but these levels have to be watched. What else is out there? Crude had a massively strong day yesterday. WTI went up to 65.53. I saw it at the close. We are sellers of crude. Um, it 
we're going to do sort of a high fade in the crude. So we're going to be, we're looking for 66, 65 or 66, 68 to trade one more time. And we think there's going to be failure up here. So um, we're not in any super rush to get short. Because it looks like quite a bullish structure here. And these highs are now in the sights of the market. But up at 66.80, uh, we'll be entering into shorts on more of a medium term uh, position as we believe that OPEC doesn't really control this market anymore. U.S. production plus general sentiment uh, against oil globally should put a lid on uh, on this market but that's not really for today just keep it in mind 6680 we think is a uh, cool short cryptos mildly bid yesterday we did a doji 9174 quietly bid not doing too much within an overall bearish market but our strategies remain the same. Leave low bids in, sell out the majority, get yourself a good average, and sit. Nimic should be opening their main net anytime now in the next two weeks. We really, really like Nimic. The price has been destroyed, going from eight bucks to two bucks, but we're still believers. Um, and we think this one's going to be special, and this is one that uh, is going to attract a lot of interest, a wide breadth of interest as a currency on the internet. We'll see. You can follow Nimic on uh, Twitter. You can also follow them on YouTube. Uh, they do a bunch of interesting blogs about their progress and we'll just have to see how it goes we own it stop loss is zero so it's don't really have to manage it um, and we will be entering the mining pool when they open so let's see how that goes and i guess that's it i'll leave you with that we've got uh fom uh, fomc we've got mpc 1 p.m central european time so i'll pop in about an hour before with a more specific strategy. Good luck out there, guys. Ciao.